Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin, or her right here on the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're watching for the first time, please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you want to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at Shooting Up North, Instagram at Alliance PW Network, and feel free to join our Facebook group, the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. And don't forget to hit that like button. And while you're at it, if you're not subscribing, hit that subscribe button as well. Again, this is Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. Let's get into it. I want to start talking about Sheldon Jean. I want to begin the podcast talking about Sheldon Jean. In my opinion, in my opinion, Sheldon Jean is the future of the X Division. Sheldon Jean is a future X Division star. If Impact Wrestling gives him the push that I believe he deserves. He's been with Impact Wrestling since since January. Well, he's he was with Impact Wrestling in the past, uh, left wrestling for, I believe, for two years. He's back now. Uh, but um, he officially signed with Impact Wrestling back in January. So it's been four months now, uh, Sheldon Jean and Impact Wrestling. And he hasn't won a match yet in Impact Wrestling, which, okay, I understand. I understand he's being used as enhancement talent uh, for the moment. He's lost to Jonathan Gresham. He's lost to Crazy Steve. He lost to Crazy Steve twice. Lost to Joe Hendry. Lost to Nick Galdis recently. Uh, and he lost to El Reverso in in Windsor at St. Clair College. Now, I love El Reverso. And El Reverso, my thoughts on El Reverso and Impact Wrestling, uh, save that for a separate podcast. But as much as I love you, El Reverso, I don't think that Sheldon Jean should have lost that match. I think Sheldon Jean should have won that match against El Reverso at um, the in um, Saint Clair College that took place um, back in March. You know, again, I love you, El Reverso. Love you, man. But my opinion, Sheldon Jean signed with Impact Wrestling. You will be signed soon, El Reverso, in my opinion. Again, that's for a separate podcast. But Sheldon Jean should have won that match. But 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 we'll leave we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. I'm, I'm not um, I'm not the booker, right? I don't um, decide who wins and who loses. But uh, yeah, so Sheldon Jean being used as enhancement talent so far. Uh, his last match was against Nick Aldis on TV. That was last week. He lost to Nick Aldis. Uh, naturally, he's not going to beat Nick Aldis. Uh, but I think now is the time. Sheldon Jean has incredible talent. Sheldon Jean is proving it. In my opinion, Impact Wrestling, he's he's got star-like qualities, and he's proving it on the indie scene as well up here in Ontario. Um, and then he's... I think he's been in a few shows in the states as well, uh, but they have they have um, a, a a diamond a diamond in um, in Sheldon Jean. He's a he's a shining star. Let's call him a shining star, uh, and they need to give him a push. And it seems like he might be on the verge of a little bit of a push right now. Uh, I believe he's going to be keep teaming. You know, they might have him teaming with Kenny King. Um, maybe a little uh, collaboration between him and Kenny King, which we could. Hey, that would be a great tag team. Kenny King, Sheldon Jean, I think would be a great tag team. Possible future uh, Impact Wrestling World Tag Team Champions. They could Impact Wrestling could definitely use um, a new tag team. So we'll see what happens there. So hopefully Sheldon G is getting a little bit of a push. But I know I mentioned the World Tag Team titles, but I think Sheldon G. I think uh, he's going to thrive in the X division. I think if they um, if they give him a push, if they let him loose, uh, I, I think Sheldon G could be an absolute huge asset. Huge asset to the X Division in Impact Wrestling. I think, without a doubt, he's going to be the, an X Division champion. He's a future X Division champion. He just has the it factor. He just has the it factor. All right? So uh, it's it's time to give – I know it's been four months, but I think it's time now to, uh, to give Sheldon Sheen a bit of a push. Let him go on a bit of a winning streak and uh, let him let him be a, a, a challenger for the X Division champion. I don't know if, how long Trey Miguel is going to have the title for, but say Trey Miguel gets past um, Chris Saban, why not? Why not? Have an X Division um, number one contenders uh, tournament, uh, number one contender tournament, and let Sheldon Sheen win it. And uh, Sheldon Sheen – Trey Miguel, let them lose. They would have an outstanding match. Now you're probably saying, oh, that would be a little too soon. He's got to build himself up. Fine. Fair enough. But I think he's ready. I think Sheldon Jean is ready uh, to be a star. And he is definitely a future star. And Impact Wrestling, hopefully they see that in Sheldon Jean as well. 
Because while they're bringing in the Nick Aldises and the Jonathan Greshams, you know, the, the names, they need to build future stars. They need to build up, you know, young talent like like Sheldon G. And I, I mentioned, of course, I mentioned him numerous times. Uh, Jason Hotch, you know, Jason Hotch, another great talent. Jack Evans, um, you know, they're a um, great talent there, a great young talent. They have um, they have Shogun, uh, Jackson Stone, who I think is a great talent as well. And um, we saw, I mentioned El Reverso. I, he's going to get signed soon. El Reverso is going to get signed soon. Uh, and you have Aiden Prince, who is um, recovering from injury right now. So you have a lot of young talent. They need to build these young talents up. They should do another gut check, bring in some more new talent as well, and build them up to be the next Impact Wrestling Stars. But that that's fine. But I want to concentrate on Sheldon Jean right now. I want to con concentrate on shining star Sheldon Jean right now because it's it's the impact wrestling is very very lucky in my opinion to have sheldon jean i'm um i'm not gonna i'm not shy about it i'm a big big sheldon jean fan um and uh i feel um i feel that uh, he's ready i feel he could be uh, a huge star for impact wrestling and i think impact wrestling should without a doubt see that in sheldon jean and impact wrestling should without a doubt give sheldon jean a push if if not, you know, and if not, you know, in the next two three months, at least at some point in twenty twenty three, Sheldon Jean should be given a big huge push, and um, make him an X Division uh, contender, X Division title contender, and even you know put him in line for X Division title shot. You know, I without that, they got Yuya Omora. People are people, you know, people are a little confused with Yuya Omora, and I want to set the record straight here uh, with with um, about Yuya Omora. Great, great talent, big, big fan, but don't get too excited about him being the future of Impact Wrestling. Don't get too excited. You know, I just want to let everybody know, just in case you don't know, he's signed to New Japan Pro Wrestling. He's only on excursion, and once his excursion's over, he's going back to Japan. So a lot of people are calling him the future of Impact Wrestling. He's unfortunately, you know, I would love for him to be the future of Impact Wrestling, but unfortunately, he's headed back to Japan uh, when his excursion is over. So that's um, that's uh, that's what's going to happen. But Sheldon Jean, one more time, Sheldon Jean, Impact Wrestling, please. Give him a push. Uh, you have a, a shining star. Uh, you have a, a definitely a um, a future star, a future exhibition star, maybe even a future Impact Wrestling World Champion. Uh, I'm going to say it again. Sheldon Sheen has it, and Impact Wrestling needs to give him a push very, very, very soon. Okay, so Rich Swan. Rich Swan was named uh, as one of Sammy Callahan's partners at Under Siege Against the Design. I was disappointed at this. I, I kind of knew it was coming, but regardless, disappointed. This was the perfect opportunity for Impact Wrestling to bring back Jake Christ and Madman Fulton, bring back OVE. OVE versus the Design would have been a terrific, 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 terrific feud. Uh, but now Rich Swan joins Sammy Callahan. R Sammy Callahan just did say just wait until you see who the third um, partner is so there is some hope there that it's either madman fault or jake chris or maybe even jake something uh maybe even john moxley i mean at this point if it's john moxley it's blowing my mind i don't think it's john moxley that that would be huge uh but i, I think it's i think it's going to be crit jake chris or jake something or madman fault so i still have hope for that but still uh rich swan i'm not so excited uh, i'm Nothing taken away from Rich Swan. I'm, uh, Rich Swan is an incredible talent, an incredible in ring talent, uh, incredible all around talent, I should say. But uh, I was I I wanted a uh, I wanted Jay Chris Madman Fulton. I wanted OVE versus the design, and this was the per perfect opportunity for Impact Wrestling to do that. And um, unfortunately, they they're not going in that direction. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. So let's go over. Um, they announced the matches. Uh, so here are the matches. Oh, let's get back to Impact. So here are the matches for this Thursday on Impact on Access TV. Ace Austin versus Jason Hotch. That should be a great one. I really like Jason Hotch. I mentioned him earlier. He's good, good young talent. Um, and uh, he's also a future star. Him against Ace Austin, that's going to be an outstanding matchup, in my opinion. Looking forward to that one. Uh, Trinity against Kylan King, uh, that should be a great one as well. Then you have um, Moose, Brian Myers, and Frankie Kazarian uh, versus Yuya Omura, Jonathan Gresham, and Alex Shelley. 
Uh, that's interesting. Moose. Hold on. Do I get that? Did I get that right? Moose, yeah, Moose, Eddie Edwards, and Frankie Kazarian. See, they got it wrong here. See, I'm going to see the Impact Wrestling social media team. I'm calling them out here. They're making too many mistakes. They're making too many mistakes lately. I don't know if you noticed um, recently uh, it was Moose against, uh, you think, Moose versus Yuya Omura. But instead of Moose, they, the graphics team had him as Mooser. It was Musa versus Yuya Omura. And here's another mistake. Here it says in well, they, they typed out Moose for and they tagged it was it's it's Moose, Eddie Edwards, and Frankie Kazarian. But they tagged Moose, they tagged Brian Myers, not Eddie Edwards, and they tagged Frankie Kazarian. Uh, so they tagged Brian Myers and not Eddie Edwards in that one. Unless it's Brian Myers and, and Eddie Edwards in the graphic by mistake. So they're screwing up. They're screwing up. And the the impact wrestling social media team needs to get their act together. They're doing them. They're misspelling words on Facebook, you know. And it's, if you want to be taken seriously, if you want to be a professional company, they they need to proofread this stuff and they need to know what the hell they're doing because they're making too many mistakes. That they're, they're making too many mistakes. And here's another mistake right here. It's 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 it's, it's very embarrassing. It's very embarrassing. I, and if Scott Demore sees this, he better uh, heads better roll. And I wonder if they're just um, they have some. Some kid, some, some kid in their basement. I don't think they do. I'm sure there's a graphics team, uh, but they need to proof you. They need to know what they're doing, and um, they they can't make these um, careless errors errors like this because it really makes Impact Wrestling look bad, and, and people aren't going to take them seriously. You know, they tag Brian Myers when they should be tagging Eddie Edwards. You know, it, it's it's um, it's ridiculous to be honest. It's just ridiculous. Did they uh, Trey Miguel? Okay, they tag Trey Miguel. It's Trey Miguel versus Laredo Kid. So I'm going to go by the graphics. Jason Hodge versus Ace Austin. Uh, um, Kylan King versus Trinity. Moose, Eddie Edwards, and Frankie Kazarian versus Alex Shelley, Jonathan Gresham, and Yuya Omura. Um, Trey Miguel versus Laredo Kid. So those are the matches that are coming. Trey Miguel, Laredo Kid should be a terrific match. I'm going to go to the website for a second. I want to see um, if it is, in fact, Eddie Edwards or Brian Myers. So let's uh let's take a look. Let's pull up Impact Wrestling. Come on, come on. Let's pull up Impact Wrestling. Yeah, so it's Moose, Eddie Edwards, or Frankie Gazarian. Moose, Eddie Edwards, Frankie Gazarian. So uh they 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 tagged the wrong person. They tagged the wrong person. They need to get their act together. Social media team and um, BQ from, from Impact Lounge, he's noticing it also. They need to get their act together because they're making too many, too many mistakes and too many careless errors. I mean, imagine you're, you're one of your top stars, Moose, and you put out a graphic and it says Mooser on, on the graphic with a picture of him. How do you think Moose is going to take that? I'd be pissed off if I was Moose. I'd be pissed off. Imagine Moose not seeing that and he, and he, uh, and he retweets it or something. I'd be pissed. Um, Scott Demore is Scott Demore. These need to needs to talk to somebody in the social media team because then that's that's just unacceptable in my opinion. Just unacceptable in my opinion. And there was some other, few other things I think I wanted to talk about. I copied and pasted. Oh yeah, so we got um, uh, what we got here. So we got um, trading cards are available now. So Impact Wrestling trading cards. 2023 Series 1 trading cards are now available uh, at shopimpact.com. Pretty cool. Maybe I'll get a pack or two. And yeah, maybe I'll go <laughs> maybe I'll go flip cards. See uh see if I can get uh see if I can um I'll see if I can trade a Chris Bay for uh for Eddie Edwards. But when when uh when um I give them when I when I give them Chris Bay and they give me Eddie Edwards, they're probably gonna give me maybe uh I'll try to sneak him right. <laughs> no, that's a bad joke. I'm not gonna uh, I was I was just uh, making light of the uh, the social media team, uh, but no, well, well maybe I could uh, maybe I could meet somebody from the social media team, and uh, and I can say, hey, uh, I understand you got a uh, Chris Bay. I'll give you Eddie Edwards for it, and they'll say, sure. And but instead of Eddie Edwards, I give him Brian Myers. They won't know the difference. They won't know the difference. And then I'll give him a fish stick sandwich because the Impact Wrestling social media team deserves fish stick sandwiches right now because they're making too many errors. All right. So I think that's all I got. I think that's all I got today. Let's see if uh, anything else broke while I was yeah running my mouth. And uh, no, nothing. Everything is WWE Raw and 
I could care less about WWE Raw. Anyway, so we'll leave it at that for now. Anything else breaks, you know, I'll be back. But until then, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. And stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.